Just letting you guys know, you can listen to my No Bleeps podcast anywhere you stream podcasts or on my No Bleeps YouTube channel. Link in the description. Hey guys, it's Philly and welcome back to Spill Sage. Today, we are talking about Austin and Broom and the rest of the Ace family. And by that, I mean Austin's brother as well and drama that's going on in his life. But first, let's start off with why Austin has been dragged into this mess. And that is because his brother posted a new video where he is addressing things that are going on in his life. And in this video, him and Austin decide that they're going to reenact like picking up women. They're going to all just be taking turns, like practicing how to like, you know, hit on girls. And it's supposed to be a joke. It is supposed to be funny. It's, they're just kidding around, you know, they're wearing wigs, like they're just having a good old time. But people found it particularly disturbing when Austin decided to reenact how he quote unquote bagged um. Catherine. Yes, you guys, that is the word that he literally used to describe what he was doing in this video. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I bagged Catherine the first time I met her. So Landon's Catherine, let's roll it. First of all, she was not like <laughs> Come with daddy. That's right now. A month later, DM'd her on Twitter, bagged her. <laughs> Guess what? Ain't about asking for the number the first time around. She'll appreciate it more. And people did not like it at all. They found it so gross and disturbing. And like, why are you talking about Catherine like this? It's just a mess of a situation. Honestly, the video is super cringe and uncomfortable to watch. I know it's supposed to be a joke, but oh no, 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 no. Let's not talk about how you bagged your wife. So we can safely say that being a comedian is not going to be in Austin's future since it is definitely getting him a ton of backlash right now. People thought the way that he was talking about Catherine in this manner was extremely disrespectful and definitely not something that he should be doing, but yeah. So that's what Austin is getting called out for. And now let's move into what's been going on with Landon and Shiloh, and that is Landon McBroom and Shiloh's drama. This is the LNS channel, Austin McBroom's younger brother's channel with his girlfriend. They have a family channel called LNS and there has been a lot of drama that has gone on. This is some major Ace family drama that is going down. I mean, obviously we're talking about Austin's brother and his ex-girlfriend, but honestly, some of these things have to do with Austin and Catherine as well as Shyla has brought up the family and all of this is just kind of connected. Now, there was previous drama earlier in the year when Shyla decided to remove herself from the LNS channel. Shyla was not wanting to be in the videos anymore and people felt like there was drama between Shyla and Catherine. They felt like Shyla was shady and didn't want to promote Catherine's products, her skincare products. Suddenly, Shyla was getting all of this hate and didn't want to be on the channel anymore. And then didn't want their daughter to be in the videos anymore because they wanted their daughter to be able to have private and all of this stuff. And so Shyla started to not want to vlog anymore. And then Landon was solely trying to do the channel by himself and then it wasn't really working. And then all of a sudden they just stopped. There were all these rumors of a breakup and there were a lot of things that were said. And Shyla had a friend come out and say that Landon had allegedly hurt Shyla. There were photos of bruises and things like that. And there was a lot of questions that people had. There were a lot of things that fans were saying, fans were worried. And at this point in time, Landon has created his own channel and he has posted a couple of videos sort of addressing all that has gone down between them from his side. Shyla has said, a few things on social media. Can't believe how dirty I've been done these past months, you guys. Like I am trying not to break up families and relationships and careers and has also deleted all of her Instagram photos. Shyla does not have any photos except for one on her Instagram. And a lot of things that she has been tweeting have to do with women that are silenced, feeling like she couldn't speak up about certain things, saying that she's witnessing she can't speak about and that she didn't deserve any bad thing that ever happened to her and all this stuff. So some of the more recent tweets are, got lost and found myself. I understand the heartbreaking reality of why women never come forward or why so many women would rather answer suffer in silence then speak up it's too late for me but believe women support women also 
has received a restraining order against Landon. And in one of Landon's videos talking about everything from his side, he posted a video a week ago titled My Story. And in this, he was trying to say that, oh, anybody can go and get a restraining order. You know, if I just went down and tried to get a restraining order and lied and said, oh, this person did this to me, they would give me one, no problem easy as that. Basically trying to say that Shiloh went down there, made up a bunch of stuff and got a restraining order against him and that it is a temporary restraining order. So that's what he had to say about that. He also said that he never laid a hand on Shiloh and isn't even mentioning Shiloh's name in this video. He is strictly saying the mother basically of his child. He's not referencing her at all, just saying the mother. This video seems like it's only going to make matters worse in the situation of raising their child in a peaceful way. It just seems like things are getting very, very messy. And I mean, he even is aware of that because in the very beginning of his video, he says that she's not going to like a lot of the things that he is saying in this video, but he still went ahead and made this video. He also said that because of the custody arrangement that they currently have, he wasn't able able to bring his daughter to see his family. And so he had this whole photo shoot ready to go for when she was finally able to see like Austin, Catherine and his parents, AKA her grandparents. And they did this whole photo shoot and posted it all over social media, which upset Shyla because she doesn't want her daughter to be on social media, doesn't want her to have any of that blasted on the internet, wants her to have her privacy. And at the end of the video, basically Landon says that what happened between them was all around money like money was the reason why they broke up money is the reason why they're not together and that's pretty much the only explanation that he gave for that and recently in the last couple of days people have been wondering what's been going on with Landon because he's been posting a lot of really sketchy things on his Instagram story which some people on TikTok found very embarrassing because the photos that he was posting was just kind of like pretending to be with another woman like photos of a girl's bag or his him with someone and these photos were all found on Google. Like none of these photos were of him and someone else. And he, he posted this photo on his stories about his new relationship, which was 100% clickbait. He stole this photo from someone's page on Twitter, which the photo can also be found on Pinterest. You can clearly see they are the same heels and the same floor design. And all the handbags he's been posting recently are stolen photos as well. The original photos are all found and posted on Tumblr. To me, this is all so embarrassing. He was essentially just like pranking his followers and posted a video titled My New Relationship on his YouTube channel where he revealed that he is not actually dating someone and that he is, you know, just having fun and like going out. He's a single man and that's that. He's not in any relationship at all. This entire thing is such a mess and just has people questioning so many things about this family, honestly. Obviously, they have some sort of agreement where he cannot bring his daughter around his family. And it took a very long time for him to be able to get that visitation with Austin and Catherine present and all of them doing this photo shoot together. This whole thing is just crazy. It's raising a bunch of red flags for everybody. And I mean, you know, he's back on the ground and this YouTube grind, he's posting content again obviously starting to clickbait again by posting all that fake Pinterest Google images on his story and then posting this new relationship video. And he also said that he has no access to the LNS channel and that the LNS channel will never be a thing ever, ever again. So it's pretty clear that these two are done not getting back together. I think there's just been a lot of damage said and done and the relationship is really torn at this point. The top comment on his video titled my story is there's three sides to every story, his side, her side, and the truth. It really is just sad to see that this is kind of what's happened between them. Obviously they were a family channel and you never want a family channel to go down in this type of way, but man oh man has the end of this really been super super messy. Landon has also talked about the fact that he was going to propose to Shyla, but this $200,000 engagement ring, which oh my god so expensive, is not going to her anymore clearly, but dang that ring was crazy nice. 
that's super expensive that would definitely be scared if that was on my finger all the time but he said that it is definitely not going to her and he doesn't know what to do with that ring i think that he should probably save it for his daughter since i believe it has her initials on the inside of the ring and since he's saying he can't sell because it it's like a custom and he won't get the same amount that he paid for it if he resold it aside from that he did get his shyla hand tattoo covered up in a video so that's another thing that happened i want to know what you guys think about all that is going down let me know in the comments down below i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys